Palumbo here from Muscle Serpents Daily, and it's Saturday night, and I'm gonna call this the Saturday Night Rack Video. That's right, we're gonna pick one rack in my snake room. We're gonna look at that rack, we're gonna pull some cool snakes off of that rack, whatever they happen to be, whether they be whole bags, they be snakes for sale, and we're gonna just take a look and see what, who they are and what they're doing and what I'm gonna have planned for them for the future and what makes them cool and what makes them unique. And let's get to it because this is a really late night already and I wanna get something done for tonight because I'm in the snake room, man. All right, here's a really nice whole bag I produced this year. This is a what I believe to be a super enchi, yellow belly, possible super orange dream. I think it's super orange dream. It's either orange dream or super orange dream. 100% head pied, 50% head hypo, and head albino. Um, but this is, uh, this would be, if this is super orange dream and super enchi, which it's possible, it also is possible fire too. Um, this would be a great female, but this is a, um, something that I'm really would love to breed in the future because I really have some really, really nice males. I've just never had the females that kind of matched up. And if this does, if I did hit the super orange dream here, um, this would be great because I can, I, I, I really haven't hit a super orange dream pied yet, visual pied. So that would, that, that would be the goal, I guess. Super entry, super orange dream, you know, banana pied would be great too that's about as clean as you can get so that's that's the goal this girl's really really clean light definitely can see the yellow belly influence right down here and the blushing um she's i would say she's see how that head is pinched off i would say that's super enchi that's why i went with that sometimes you get the super enchi and the yellow belly you know cleans it up so much that you might not have super orange dream and this this probably is just maybe one copy of orange dream um, because once again, if it wasn't super enchi, I would say, well, maybe, but regardless, this was the best female I produced, um, in that enchi, orange dream, yellow belly family this year. And once again, there could be some fire in there. I'm not really sure. Here's another hole back of mine. This is a super enchi, super orange dream for certain. Fire, I'm, I'm almost positive this fire. I've been studying this guy, this boy for so long. I, I've compared him to some of the other ones. I'm pretty sure there's yellow belly in here too. And this is head pied, so really, really clean, clean. You see the, how yellow, I don't know if the camera's picking up. The yellow in this guy really indicates to me that there's fire in there, because as fire gets older, it, it'll yellow, produce more and more yellows. And obviously there's banana in this too, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. So it's banana, super enchi, super orange dream, fire, possible yellow belly pie. Uh, head pie, excuse me. You can see the pinched off head. That's the uh, super enchi there, the, how clean it is. It's, it's banana for sure. You can see the purples in the head and it's male. <laughs> and of course the fire given that that yellow that yellow tinge and I'm pretty sure you can see here it's pretty much pretty confirmed to yellow belly too so I pretty much hit every gene I could possibly hit in this one from the breeding that I did and that uh that's really cool so this this even though he's not a visual pie he will you know take my pie projects to the next level for sure because of uh, all the genes that are in there you know everything he's bred to pretty much will be golden Obviously, if he was a visual pied, it would be that much better. The goal would be to make this in a visual pied at some point. And we'll see. I haven't decided who I'm going to breed him to. If I bred him to a sister who I just showed you, you know, there would, there would, there's only, a, you know, you're not going to get only 25% chance of getting pieds. And then all the other ones are going to be pos head pied. So I don't know if he'll go to his sister. Probably I'll breed him to another one of my, um, to, to another female that I have that's, got some possibly uh, visual pied in it so that we can produce more pieds and then, then we'll see where that goes. But just really, really clean. And I'm doing this inside like on a, on a Saturday night, so no natural sunlight. You 
can just tell when he's getting older and he's still just looking gorgeous. Kind of going through this whole rack. This is, I'm gonna call this the Saturday night rack video. And you can see there's some stuck shed on this, this female, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted to show her, she's so beautiful. This is an Enchi Pied. It's 66, or excuse me, 100% head clown, so. Really, really nice looking female. It's the whole back of mine. And she's got, you know, when you put the Enchi and the Pied together, you always get more pattern in there, you get less white. But the, I, li I, really, in I really like the, the little bits of white we got in there. They're kind of well placed. Once again, I wish she had shed that little, I should have, if I wasn't so late, I would have got the shed off her, but you can just see how nice and clean this girl is. Um, I had produced a visual and she pie clown um, in the same litter and, and she didn't make it. She was a little runty and she just, uh, she didn't survive. I tried to like assist feed her and it helped a little bit for a while, but just, I think she was just weak just with something wrong. So she's gonna be taking the place. Hopefully we'll be able to produce some really cool stuff, you know, especially since she's 100% head clown. And I, I like getting that Enchi into that clown pie project, because sometimes you can, especially when you're putting like leopard and stuff like that in there, they get so high white, that you, you can't even see that it's a clown pie. It, it just, you know, it just, you see like a splotch and everything else is white. So this, having the Enchi in this is really helpful. Check out this female. You want to talk about jeans? I think this is what's in it. I'm guessing Spider Enchi Hurricane. You can tell the hurricane is by the, the parallel line pattern there. The spider really, really reduces those hurricane swirls. Yellow Belly, Orange Dream, Leopard, 100% head pie. And she's 50% head hypo and albino. Talk about a powerhouse female. Wow. I love leopard, and this is the first leopard hurricane combination I ever had. Now it's funny because the spider really reduces hurricane, but then when you put leopard into it, it kind of brings back some of the, of the pattern. And you get some of this wild like striping going on here. Orange Dream, I, I'm pretty sure there's Orange Dream. I'm, I'm almost positive, when it was born, it was really orange. So I'm pretty sure there's Orange Dream in here. There's definitely Yellow Belly, you can see that. And I'm pretty sure there's Enchi in here as well, because it's really enhanced. Now the, yeah, the father had Enchi in him. So, this, there's so many jeans in this that there's no way I could sell it because I don't even know what I'd be selling. And I wouldn't add a price it, so I'm just gonna keep it and breed it. I have a lot, of, I, I have to admit, I have a slight addiction on holding back hurricane females. I have a lot of hurricane females that I've held back. And I guess in the future it'll, it'll pay off, you know? Because I, I want to produce a lot of super hurricane stuff. Ultimately, I'd, I'd like to be producing super hurricane, super hurricane, but right now, you know, when you start putting, you know, morphs that reduce pattern, look at this little thing craziness going on here. I have to believe that's from the hurricane right there. The little hurricane. These could be leopard hurricane swirls or something like that. I don't know. But when you start, yeah, throwing in a lot of jeans, especially the ones that reduce pattern, it makes it a little more difficult to, to, to really identify hurricane. But this, this girl is beautiful. Here's her sister, it's growing nicely too. This is what I believe to be a spider pastel, which would be a bumblebee. Leopard, possible orange dream, hurricane. And then there's obviously, it could be possibly yellow belly and Enchi, I'm not really sure. And she's 100% head pied. So this is the sister of the other one. Once again, so many different genes in it. I'm pretty positive this hurricane because we got this parallel line pattern here. Once again, spider. I get a lot of spider in this in this um, in this clutch. Well, there's only two babies actually. And they're both spiders. So, spider and hurricane is kind of cool together. But you, you lose the the swirly swirls of the hurricane. But it just you know 
anything that adds back pattern, like hurricane or blackhead and stuff like that, leopard, seems to mesh well with spider. And you get the really cool head stamps when that happens too, so. Now this is not a 2020, this is a 2019 Hypopied. Since we're sticking to this rack here, I figured, well, I gotta pull out stuff that's in this rack. That's what we're doing today. It's Saturday Night Rack video. And really gorgeous Hypopied. You know, we all love hype. We all love pies to begin with. I mean, and hypo pie, and I've talked about this in the past, I've produced a lot of them. They're really, really nice. They don't really need anything added to them. They're, they're so nice on their own. I mean, obviously you could always make it better. Um, but if you're looking just for a pure two gene recessive morph that will hold its value, hypo pie is the way to go. Really, really. I didn't really breed too many this, this past year. I didn't, really go for that. I, I didn't use my visual hypopied male. I tried to do some other breedings and, and, and unfortunately the male I used I think was too young and so I didn't really get anything from my females but that, that means they'll just they'll produce that much more this year hopefully so. Really nice. Look at that. I mean that's that even even in this dark light in my uh, snake room here this is this female's coming out really nice. So she's growing well. And I don't think she's going to breed this year. She'll probably breed next. Talk about frustrating males. This guy was the worst eater when I first got him. It's a 2016, believe it or not. Leopard blackhead. Het lavender albino. So, I mean, look at that black, black head. The leopard and blackhead go really well together. Really dark looking, beautiful snake. This guy lived in a hatchling rack until about um, two months ago because he wouldn't eat. He only ate in a hatchling rack. Now he seems to be doing well, but it took him a really, I didn't think he was gonna make it. I and mean, this guy didn't eat for like, like probably like almost a year. He would eat, I'm talking like he would eat like, like a hopper mouse, like once every four months type of thing. And then all of a sudden he just kicked in. And so unfortunately I thought he would breed. Sometimes when they, you know, they don't eat, they'll still breed, but he, he didn't, I got nothing from him. This was the first year I got something from him. Um, in the way of eggs and stuff like that. Uh, so, but you know, it could have been the female's fault also, but hopefully this coming year we'll get some good stuff from him. And I have some ideas of who I want to pair him up to. So I got him from Justin Kabilka. And just a really nice, really, really nice looking male. If, I, if he were to produce that first, like within the first two years I got him, which was the, which was the intention, I was breeding him to a lavender albino, I would have, produ have produced some really cool stuff by now, but he was just, he just did not want to eat this, this snake. And the females weren't that great. I don't know, the female lavenders I had, I weren't really, I don't know. I don't know if it was him or them. I was saying it was him because he really wasn't eating, like I said. Sometimes that happens, you know, you're gonna have snakes like that that are just trouble feeders. And then all of a sudden, I don't know where they just, they, they're, they're, they bounce back. He's probably at the stage where he's like, this is, he's gonna probably have a good breeding season. So I gotta think of who I wanna put him with. I think he's gonna be really good. He's finally in a bigger tub and he's eating regularly and he, he made a comeback. So you gotta stick with these snakes sometimes. Sometimes they all are not prodigies and they, they, they take a little TLC, so to speak, and you have to have some patience with them. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for tonight. Late night here. I still have work to do. It's 2.45 2 already. Can you believe it? In the morning. And I still have to record another video for my bodybuilding channel. A wrap-up of, of a bodybuilding event that just took place this past weekend. So, yeah, no rest for the weary, right? You guys want to see your videos. You want to see the snakes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today. Gave you a couple of little... Uh, I threw you a couple of the snakes maybe you hadn't seen before. Or that they, you haven't seen them since they were born. And there's just a lot of cool stuff, you know, going on. A lot of cool genes for the future. Obviously, nothing is going to really happen with these snakes I showed you this year. But in coming years, these snakes are going to grow and they're going to be the future, I guess you could say, uh, basis of a lot of uh, breeding projects that I have. And that's what you guys have to always be thinking. What are you going to do for the future? Have that rack where you have those snakes. You don't think about them. You throw food in there every week. They eat. And then before you know it, time flies like this, believe me. And next thing you know, they're ready to breed. All right, guys, hope you're having a great weekend. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Hit the like button. We'll see you Monday morning.